give full support whenever we announce the name of the judges. Are you guys okay? Are you guys ready? Come on, come on, come on. This cosplay competition is something that you guys have been waiting for this past two days. Are you ready? Without further ado, we will announce the very first judge coming for cosplay for more than 10 years of experience under her belt and the seasoned cosplay competition judge both locally and overseas. Together with her teammate, she was the Malaysian representative for Clara Kao's Cosplay Cup 2017 at AnimeCon in Netherlands and also World Cosplay Summit at Nagoya, Japan in 2018. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up to our first judge, Shinko!
Nasib tak kena. Alah, tak kena pun. Perut kosong je tu. Haram, 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 haram. Sekarang bersiaplah terima nasib kau. Eh, apa ni? Hehehe, <laughs> memang aku tipu pun. Apa ni? Apa ni? Apa ni? Ya, 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 ya. Shhh. Aku memang nak tebas itu pun. Tapi dengan sticky stuff pula. Supaya kau tak boleh ke mana-mana pun. Kau buat apa? Alang-alang badan kau dah tak bergerak. Aku boleh tembak kau. Hehehe. Celaka. Dia ni kuat ke? Special attack. Shiny Black Star. So he was saying that even the sound effects itself is impressive, and he didn't expect that he, uh, you will actually use the hammer to smack it to hit it on her face, and that's really nice and very impressive to look at. Yes, 
so with like your voiceover, your effects, and also your actions, they were all very on time, except for one part where the Sai Kang was uh, popping the capsule. But other than that, it was on time. And just a small suggestion that maybe when you have an explosion, you know, we see the subtitles, you can add a little bit more on screen effect. But Salai Dari Su, I think everything was very good. I love the interactive way of your creative scripting. I really like it. Thank you. Alright. Hello. Okay, okay. Hi. Um, as Yihong has mentioned, I really love your lip sync. It's almost perfect. And then, um, I really like the fact that the skit is very smooth and very engaging with the audience and it's very easy to understand. So, um, just one small thing to improve next time. The part where you have the lip bars, right? Um, on stage, we cannot really see the lip bars actually, it's too small. So, next time, maybe we'll make like a bigger cardboard to like have the comedy effect. Yeah, so that would be great. Thank you so much, I love your skit. Alright! Thank you very much, judges! Ladies and gentlemen, Oscura on X! Thank you! Alright, that is actually very, very good from the anime One Piece. Okay, um, next contestant, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, make some noise for Team Rookie! Well, Team Rookie is um, doing the preparation. We'll let the stage be darkness. Kita kena kacau lagi dah. 
Saya pasti dia tak ada. Ya, aku pasti. <laughs> That you are having, it's very impressive and can see it how much you are, very, uh, how much you are into the character, how passionate you are with the character. Okay, so for the lady at the left hand, uh, yeah, the the taller one, yes. So the lady right there in red, um, you, on the timing itself, it wasn't that precise and he would like to highlight specifically on the crying part because there was certain timing that is not as accurate, especially when it comes to comparing with the other lady in black. Okay, so maybe on this part, when it comes to the timing, you can improve on it because it might affect the viewers' viewing experience when it comes to viewing your entire skit. However, he really likes the entire performance and he would like to pass it over to the other judges for comments. Thank you. Hello, Team Rookie. Hi. Uh, it's good to see you guys on stage. Uh, just a few comments. I like Azula's acting. I think the, at the back where you took off the mask, the acting was very good. And then I think you guys, the three of you make a good team. The chemistry is there, so I think the overall skit execution was well. Just a small suggestion from my side is that perhaps at the ending where Azula is the highlight, uh, maybe you can shift more towards to the center of stage, and then the black screen, uh, the Saigang was a bit, uh, I think one Saigang is enough, so when she put the both of you to the side more, I think it can give a better visual effect to downstage. And then another suggestion is probably that you can add a little bit more weathering on your costumes. Because uh, for Azula, maybe I think, because the scene is where in the wilderness a bit, and then uh, Azula is coming from, from uh, with her, her concho concho hitam. <laughs> so I think it will have a more visual impact for costume wise. But overall, I really like the performance. I think you three make a very good team. Hope to see more. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much to team. Can we have Shinku? Shinku? Hello, okay, uh, quick one. So on top of what uh, both of them have mentioned, right, I want to compliment on the BGM choices. It's really fitting to your skit and also the video effect. So uh, something a little bit different from Yihong that I will comment is the stage prop, right? I think it's a little bit too much because it blocks your uh, screen effect already. Just a little bit, yeah. So maybe we'll take on that next time. Overall, I like it. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much, Tim Rookie. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Team Rookie, and that is only a second contestant. Moving on to the third team. 
The third team that will perform on the stage will be Team Extra! So 
on the entire visual and everything else, it doesn't feel awkward because you combine it nicely. 但是有一个就比较重要的就是在Luffy身上,就是他在配音那个音乐时候,因为我们都知道就是Luffy就是很情绪很高涨的嘛,所以他在抽字配音的时候呢,可能要更加的兴奋一点在许多的场合之下。So for Luffy cosplayer here for Luffy, the voice acting part perhaps can be improved upon to make it more excited, more louder, because his character is an excited and loud and brash kind of um, portrayal. So for your entire costume and portrayal, it's really nice. However, the voice doesn't match up with your costume and portrayal. Hence, there is a gap in between, uh, with, uh, there's a gap between your presentation. So thank you so much to both of you. You would like to say all the best to you going forward. Thank you. Hi Team Extra! Hello! First of all, I love both of your character presentation. You both suit Luffy and Boa very well. And the thing I love about this comedy skit is that it suits the characters, you know? It, it blends well with One Piece. I think it's very creative, so I really enjoyed your skit. And I love how both of you are in character almost all the way through the end, especially for a very good job. And props to Luffy as well for the fake apps. Loving it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but I, I really like the overall presentation and how you brought the characters to life with a completely new skit not really taking anything from the series itself but it goes very well with the character I think it's very creative um, just maybe maybe a very very small suggestion because uh, there's not much use for Mary you know Mary's prop ship so I suggest that maybe at the beginning of the skit you can actually come uh, Luffy can actually come out from the ship itself or like you know push the ship and then you come out from the ship then it will give a bit more additional like you know usage for that yeah but otherwise I love the overall bit thank you Alright, Hi, I uh, love your performance. I love the little key chant that you made. You were so good at the detailing. So, um, some uh, comments. A very good stage usage and also very creative presentation and very engaging with the audience. Easy to understand it. So, um, hope to see uh, more from you guys next time. I love the skit. Thank you. Alright, uh, one more time around for extra! <laughs> that is from Extra, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, next up, our fourth contestant. Uh, I believe most of you guys know already this team. Some of you guys already know him. Some of you guys may not. But this is one of our prominent cosplayers in Malaysia. Yep. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we will call out next team. Give it up to Team O.
So when it comes to the prop itself, one of the things that Yi Hong feels impressed is that you did not hesitate when it comes to destroying your own props. When it comes to breaking it, you break it, smash it, you smash it, and you match it with the sound effect itself, and it creates a very good effect. So one of the things he find impressive is that how um how straightforward your actions are because when it comes to performing certain actions, if you hesitate because of your prop or anything, it will it, uh, it will it will decrease your performance effect and it will not portray a very good impression. However, for your case, you just present it as it is, you smash it, you whack it and match it with the sound effect and it looks very impressive. So he's, he feels very impressed with your performance and he would like to pass on to the next judge, Rika, to continue with the comments. Thank you. Wah, Momo garang, takut lah aku tengok ni. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, okay. Uh, I I like the skit. Uh, I think it's very interesting. Sebab I pun fan one piece, so saya familiar juga dengan Jimmy dengan Cody. Uh, I like the execution of your armor, your changing. Everything was good and smooth. Yang hanya satu saya boleh suggest untuk skit lah. Sebab bila Jimmy nak nak buat shark face dengan body kan kat tepi sini tak nampak sangat kita hanya nampak belakang momo sahaja uh, so tak nampak macam body punya expression kat situ and when you break yang papan tu pun tak nampak sangat uh, so mungkin boleh te- uh, 45 degree sikit so kita boleh nampak lebih banyak visual dan untuk macam yang paling the high heel bila body uh, bercakap dengan uh, Jimmy uh, Jimmy pun tak cukup uh, side so kita hanya nampak sebab rambut you banyak. Ah uh, so tak nampak uh, macam expression dengan uh, your your face sebab yang tu paling terakhir punya ayat agak important kan for closing. So if we can see a bit more, I think it will be great. And also untuk yang ocean punya effect dengan air, kalau patu pun kasih biru, I rasa lebih best. Ah uh, but I really love it. Thank you. Thank you for bringing this performance. Thank you. Hey, overall, um, very impressive performance. Like when Momo shout, like I also feel his agony here. Oh my god. Uh, okay. Uh, so um, yeah, about the costume change, I think it's very small, very well done, and also uh, very engaging. Um, the atmosphere with the audience. So I really like it. And the fact that when you guys fight, the video is like shaking as well. So that uh, is a very good point as well. So thank you so much. Alright! 
It has been very intense so far. You didn't go there. That's why. But we haven't even gone through halfway. We haven't gone through halfway there. No. We still have more to come. Yes. Next up. For the fifth performance, for the fifth contestants that we're performing right now, give it up to Team A.
So when it comes to the nose falling off accident, Yiho realizes that you did not went into panic mode. You try to mask it off well, you did not kneel down and start picking it up, and you try to go through the entire performance as smooth as possible. <笑>包括到现在就完全是在太阳那个那个手太阳我感觉他就是那个角色的感觉但是虽然说好是有那个坏的就不好的方面啊就我要说一点就是比如说在黄色那边就稍微在动作方面以及那个配合声音那边呢
have a date to pay. You've been captain of the Black Power for 13 years. The chest! Hand it over! So I can say you free, mate. My freedom was forfeit long ago. Ah! Okay, so um, about Captain Jack Sparrow, he had already mentioned it, Johnny Depp, and he would like to mention about the entire performance because we have chosen a fight scene. So the fight scene doesn't match with the, whatever that is going on screen, whether when it comes to the video and the sound effects, there's a certain mismatch when it comes to your actual performance. And then perhaps you can add more effort in making sure that they match as well as the fight scene itself. 这个真的要非常多注意因为今天你选择大戏的话你的每一个动作都必须要配合到你的背景声音但是这样的话才能够让我们感受到就是真的有在做这个动作而不是说你做了我没有声音就会让我们产生一种很奇怪的感觉所以
like to advise you to work on this and improve on the matching parts of it. Thank you. Hello, hi team, Simon from Familia. Hello. Seperti yang Ihong cakap, I rasa untuk visual effect, untuk dua-dua Jack Sparrow dengan David Jones sangat bagus. Especially David Jones, I love how you actually add on the little details on your costume. I think it really brings out yang dalam laut-laut punya tu David Jones lah. The feeling is very good. Yeah, untuk skit, right? I feel yang kurang sikit ialah the build up and the climax doesn't really differentiate much. Sebab yang tengah berperang-perang tu, then after that straight away to the heart, right? They both feel equally macam kancong, macam equally intense. So susah nak bezakan yang mana yang climax tu tak cukup climax. So I would suggest maybe you need to do the music, pull a bit, and then you give a bit of more pausing and more acting. Then only you take out the heart. Then I think you create a more impactful visual. Yeah. Uh, but I really love your costume. It's really, really very good. Uh, other than that, uh, I think that's all for me. Thank you. I really like to see it. Thank you. All right. So, uh, Shingo. Hi. Um, I love both your costume. As I mentioned, it's really good. So, um, I would like to uh, compliment uh, David Jones. Um, we can't see your face at all and with the hat and everything and all the things, right? But I can still feel your expression and your body language is very on point while fighting. So really good on that. And also um, for the fighting choreography, I think it could be better because I think uh, quite a lot of steps are repeated. So maybe next time you can give more variation on that. And um, also I think, um, yeah, I think that should be it. You guys look so good. Yeah, love it. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you very much. And then one more time for Team Saifu Familia. Even though Johnny dah terlepas daripada locker room David Jones, dia pun terlepas daripada bilik Amber Heard. Boy, boy. Too soon? Yes, too soon. Yesterday you were Johnny Depp in money. Ah, now you Johnny Depp in trouble, bro. Next stop, we are yeah. going to go for the team number seven. Team number seven, guys. Right. Is the team ready? You guys ready? All right. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we present to you team number seven, Team, team Cavalry.
I am sorry, Walter Fitzroy, for failing to prevent this. Come on, Houndy. You ain't never let me or your people down, mate. A warm father graces your victory. Talk your reward. Hold on to me, Coldy. This won't take a second. The trial is not yet complete. Bring it to its end and claim your reward. shown on stage because you are having masks with you on the stage itself your facial expression is not seen so there are certain other body parts when it comes to movement you need to bring it in together so that you can show off the mannerisms even better and in Yi Hong's opinion he has seen Bloodhound in uh, having his mannerisms with his mask on in the game and it, there's a certain mismatch when it comes to you portraying him on stage so when it comes to your entire skit, you have a clear beginning, middle and the end and your end wraps up really well. So the entire skit presentation is good. So there's a certain point that you need to take care of which is your mannerisms and your body movements. With that being taken care of, be sure that your entire presentation, your entire skit performance will be even better. So he will pass on to regard the next judge for more comments. Thank you. Hello team, 
cavalry. Oh, finally I can see fuse and bloodhound on stage. Oh, uh, so untuk yang pertama, I rasa untuk bloodhound dengan fuse, both of you are actually very much in character. Yang especially fuse, it's very suitable and very look alike to the character. Untuk costume dengan props, aku rasa uh, the the Work craftsmanship is very high. It looks it had looks very nice from downstage with the lights. You can see the weathering effects, you can see the different kind of material used, and I think that is very good. It's important to utilize different materials. Uh untuk yang skip do, so I also yeah do do uh fuse thing about how they are got the saw character here. So much uh cutting color you wouldn't move much dual cuts the and after that you uh move apart bigger and then come back to the middle because you both look good. And you both, uh, you shouldn't minimize yourself to the center of the stage too much. You can move a bit more, utilize the stage a bit better. I think it's even better. But I like your overall skip for like uh, execution. The prowlers are good, and when the prowlers come on the stage, it's very nice visually. Skip execution is good. Timing a bit off. Uh, but other than that, I think it's very good. Thank you. Hi. Um, okay, so overall the skit is very tidy and well paced. Good job. And also I think both of you guys bring out the character's essence very very well. So good job on that. And also I think uh, it's a very clever use of helper for your entire skit. And also I think uh, one very good point about your team is you guys have very balanced attention for both of the cosplayers. So yeah, good job on that. Thank you. Alright, thank you very much judges. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for team. Calvary! Still party as ever. That was team Calvary. Team number seven. Team number seven. Tiki. We have three more teams left to go. Yes, that's correct. It's so fast. Macam... Macam mata Everyone is so good so far. Yes, everyone is so good. Every single one of them. I can't wait to see the next one. Without further ado, let's call for team number eight. Oh my god, this one's the name. <laughs> oh my god, this one's the name. Siki, you ready? Are we finishing the line? No, 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 no. We're not? No, 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 no. We're doing it halfway. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys know about, about this, you guys continue sendiri lah. Uh, Saya eh? sampai dekat satu line sahaja, lepas tu you guys jalan sendiri. The team game is actually like two sentences, but we're only going to say halfway. So, if you know, you know lah. Alright, alright. Team number eight, ladies and gentlemen, give it up to Tim. Gina, Gina, Merpati!
别快，又系时候讲拜拜啦。Okay, so when it comes to the person at your left hand side, hello. So your facial expressions, everything reminds the home of the actor himself, and there's a certain matching feeling to it. However, when it comes to the entire performance, because both of you are performing something related to the movie, and it's a show. And it's a joke that everyone here knows about. So the level expectation is really high for you to hit to make sure that it's delivered on stage as perfect as what it is with the movie itself. So that part needs to be worked on. 就像我刚刚说的，对不对？这个梗大家都知道，所以我们会对你的每一个部分会有更加的那个注视度。所以就在于中心，也也也是中心是那个那个选手，有有没来过呀？哦，你在后半段有呃。好像完，好像有点脱轨了，对不对？就有很多地方你没有对到，但凡是左边那个有很好的去对到那个节奏，但是右边那位就，哦，看得出。Uh, when it comes to the performance itself, the left, uh, the person right here at the left hand side, he has a very good synchronization with the performance and the act, uh, the video itself. However, for the person on the right hand side, the person that's representing Stephen Chow, there's a certain mismatch when it comes to you matching the video and you matching the actual um, parts itself. So this created a contrast. Whereas you have the person at the left. Portraying well, and then the person at the right hand side has a certain mismatch. So, in this kind of performance, although it is very interesting, but it is very high. It is really that sentence. Everyone is very sensitive to this thing, so you have to do the perfect performance. This is the most important thing in making this movie. So, when it comes to the entire performance that is imitating parts of a very well-known movie, so the entire performance that is imitating parts of a very well-known movie. This is a very hard part because everyone knows the joke, they know the movie, they know the story. So there's a certain level of expectation. They want to make sure that everything fits, whether it's the expression or the story, everything fits. So the expectation is to you to deliver it on stage. So he will pass on the comment to our next judge, Rika. Uh, <laughs> Actually, I pun tak pasti macam mana nak buat rating untuk skip ni ya. Like seriously, I'm like, um, okay. Did you enjoy? Yeah, huh? Did you enjoy? Yeah, of course. Yang ni sami ke penyam, penyamu lah. Tak pasti lagi. But okay, thank you both of you for your performance. It's very funny. I enjoy how you are both in character or try to be in character. For most part, it's very good impersonation of the actual skit. Um, I enjoyed it. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. Um, okay, so comments from my side. I will be more uh, detailed on your uh, skit. So, first of all, right, um, since you are using a very uh, famous movie, so when you guys started, uh, like, turn your back on the stage, right, then everybody cheered for you. So, I was also cheering for you, but I was expecting more after that. It's like, do you have anything else? Like, then I was a little bit disappointed after that. So, um, 
maybe next time right uh, after you have a very good start and then you fill up more like because uh Sally shocker you have a lot of joke inside so you can use more uh, like stage prop or helper then you can bring the atmosphere up right then it will be a very good skate yeah okay thank you all right team Gina Gina Marpati huh, just so you know those two Sami uh, my friend and he's single <laughs> Oh, Kedua, Sami ya. Satu kepala batu, satu eh, kepala besi. Ah, kepala besi, satu. Satu kaki besi. Satu kaki besi. Ah, <laughs> oh my god, I did not expect that coming. I, I was like... Tengok tu? Tengok lah. Tengok lah. Tengok lah. Alright, okay. Enough about them. Let's go for the next competition. Uh, contestant. The next contestant will be contestant number 9, ladies and gentlemen. Everyone. We will call contestant number nine. Give it up to Rising Amoeba. Take it away. Okay. 
Oh, ya, cukup kita naik grab. Cukup kita mau grab, tak ada duit. Oh, sebentar, sebelum buat kerja, kena dengar jas tengah dulu. Haa, ah. <laughs> sebelum ambil order, sebelum ambil order. Sebentar. Jangan buka aplikasi lagi, tunggu dulu, haa. Alright. Ni hong? Okay. Mm, so you are the first team so far that has actually presented your video and have your skit matching together to present the entire full skit. <laughs> 因为有大屏幕的表演的地方真的不多，所以你们有很好的利用了那个那个大屏幕语言，你们现实那个表演做互相的结合，这点真的是不错。So he notices that there's a lot of details you have put into this skit because there's not many conventions that actually have a huge screen like what you have behind, and you have actually perfectly combined both the screen content, the video content, and your skit together to present the performance to all of us. 我觉得好像大家我们都知道那个苹果真的有很多那种穿透现实的那种桥段对不对但是同样的一个一个非常大的一个问题就是在最后你们的那个视频那个影片和你们的那个屏幕的画面和你们现实中就你们你们你们看到
Okay, sadly guys, we are down to the last contestant. Our 10th contestant guys, this is the last one and we hope you guys enjoy for this last one and give your full support for this team because they came all the way from Johor. Johor gang, are you guys in the house? Yeah, Johor, JDT ya. Eh? Alright, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, give it up to Team Johor Majesty Cosplay Team. Yes. 
So when it comes to your entire costume details, he realizes that you put a lot of effort in your details and he likes it, especially when it comes to uh, when it comes to jaw of David Jones, the claw itself. And then he realizes that the prop that you have on stage, before it tumbles down, there isn't a hole. And after it tumbles down, there is a hole. So it reflects detail and attention to all these little things that contribute to your entire stage performance. So he will pass it over to our next judge Pika to comment further. Thank you. Hello team Joho Majestic Cosplay. Hi! Uh, first of all, I really like both of your costumes. I like the materials chosen and I think it's very important that you also have shoe accuracy. <laughs> so like usually at the bottom, a lot of costume details are all oftenly overlooked. So I like that you will have that and it's true to the character as well. And I like the character portrayal for Jack Sparrow as well. You have the very dizzy dizzy look and stuff like that, uh, which is very good. Uh, a small comment for the skip, right? Uh, when you guys have the fight, I think the video, because you are using a sunny background and on a very clean deck, I feel it lacks a bit of the visual impact because the fighting scene is the highlight and the climax of your skit overall. It's one of the important parts of the skit. So I think if you change the background, uh, change the video a bit, maybe you can add a bit of effects or just use a darker background, it will bring out the effects of the Davis Jones versus Jack Sparrow scene more for me. And as Eo has mentioned, I really like the transition as well because it's like you enter another portal, which is like the movie, which is very nice. Thank you. Cool. Hi. Okay, uh, again, as Yi Hong has mentioned, so I really like the prop transition when you can uh, like transform to a different thing. But um, I just a small comment on that because I think the transformation is could be smoother. So next time maybe you can uh, think about it and then uh, you the impact on the stage will be much better. 
And also, I like the fact that your skit is not just fighting all along. You included some of uh, high and low and you being drunk, you know. I think it's a very good variety and adds depth to your performance. So that was very entertaining. So um, I think uh, the one thing that could be better was the pacing of the skit. So because there's quite a lot of elements in your skit, so if you can pace it nicely for audience to sometimes catch up like, okay, what happened next, what happened next, that would be also uh, better lah, for you guys. So overall, it's a very good skit. Thank you so much. Alright, that is Joe Her Majesty Cosplay Team! Hope that your audience are proud with the team. And with that, we wrap up Animandaki 2022 Cosplay Competition. Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause to all the contestants. That is just now. Animangaki Cosplay Competition 2022 brought to you by Goda Shop. Thank you so much. Shop. Yes. Goda Shop. Show some love. You can pop on over to their booth. You yes. Can enjoy yourself. Please make your way to Goda Shop. Show them some love. And if you guys have any credit that you guys would like to top up for your game, like Genshin Impact and so on, this is the time to go to Goda Shop. Possibly they have a lot of uh, merchandises, a lot of free gifts, and a lot of other. Uh, promotions to yes. give away to you all. But before you guys move even further, we would like to announce that we also have the Cosplay Crowd Choice Award, which is need to scan through QR code. Right now, our VA will show the visual on the screen, the QR code. Alright, this is the QR code for the Cosplay Competition. Which yeah. team that you like the most that entertain all of you, you may scan the QR code and vote inside there and they will have they will stand a chance to win the Cloud Choice Award, the People's Champion. Yes. And not to forget, we also will put a physical copy on the judges' table. Speaking of the judges, can we have all the judges uh, to uh, make way to the discussion uh, rooms yes. so that they can have their own meeting time uh, in peaceful uh, moment because I'm pretty sure the contestants are extremely, extremely good and it's very hard for them to choose. Yes, it's where? It's very, really hard for them to take a pick on who's going to win. I myself am entertained by all of them. Yes. So good luck judges, please make the right decision and we will see you later at the prize giving ceremony. And that will be at 6 p.m. That will be at 6 p.m. 5.30 later on, we're going to have a rock concert for all of you people by Right Bird. So right. if you guys would actually love not to sit down, now is the right time. Later on, at 5.30 is the right time. At 5.30, in the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, we will go on a short break. But before oh, we do, before, before we go for a short break, I would like to call out. I also got something. Oh, you you got call something? out after me. Ah, oh, okay. Right. I call out after you. I would like to give you guys a little in-house announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please, please, please ensure that you have your belongings with you at all times. Make sure that you have your phones, 